Alright guys, so first time at Kings Island. This park is very interesting. I don't even really know how to explain it right now. Like first things first, getting into this place, Jesus, that was the worst. It's like crazy how when you go to Cedar Point and everything's so seamless, and then you come over here and it's just like chaotic as all get out. Like just to get it, I'm like, where the world am I going? The parking lot is massive, it's literally huge. They don't really tell you anywhere to really park it, it's just park wherever. I don't even know where really the front of the park is at. The entrance is very ugly. The entrance looks like I'm walking into some like old office. I don't even know, it's just weird. The entrance is not like King's Man's. I don't know what they mean by, I get it, it's a twin, park but it's really not a replica at all like yeah you have eiffel tower and then the fountains but nothing's really the same actually and in reality it's really like a somewhat similar they have somewhat similar rides but it is different uh, although it may be king's island king's dominion it is different um i'm gonna try to beat up with one of the guys from bus bars uh mullet he's supposed to be getting here soon he's actually stuck right now in the traffic He's supposed to probably be in here really soon. But I don't even know really what to ride first. I don't really know the weight of the park right now. I didn't even look at the park map. I'm just gonna kinda go wherever I can and see what the shortest wait time is. I'll probably download the Kings Island app just to see if it's good. I have a feeling it's not gonna be good though. So we will see, like I said, it's not a bad day or anything. It's just, it is cloudy, which I'm kinda glad about because it's uh, this park, they really don't have shade like uh, Airtime Mike said, but they do have shade. Like, as you can see, I'm under a freaking umbrella right now, but we're gonna see how today goes. I don't really know what I'm gonna ride first, but I'm intrigued to see how this park is. So where did it, oh, it does show peace, okay. It's essentially a All right guys, so I got Mike over here. It was Mike, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Mike with the mullet. So he's been helping me out as far as uh, trying to figure out really the park. It's not the same. Like I said, I mean, yeah, the front of the park is, but for the most part, it's really not the same. Um, I just got off of Mystic. That's definitely the best wooden coaster I've ridden and the best one in the park so far. Beast was just, why? Like, why does Beast just tried to be the longest coaster for no reason? Like, the Helix was nice, the layout's okay. It's just a long coaster just for no reason. Like you don't need that many, two chainless. They were both like the same height. Um, Diamondback was solid. Nothing crazy about Diamondback. They hit the trim super hard. But uh, I know he's about to head out. I'm gonna try to ride in Vertigo. What's the other stuff? Is it like Woodstock Express? Woodstock Express yeah. is the kids coaster. Okay. The real, and this the other real here, back lot. Orion. Yep. Hit the so, other big highlights for sure. But yeah, when we're I'm trying to try to get to 100 today. I should be able to hit it. Uh, ops for Mystic were pretty bad. Uh, it was about an hour and a half. Uh, wait for that one. But uh, I'm gonna try to get the rest of these. So yeah. It's really quiet. All right. Wow. Probably do backseat first. Once you go there, I know they're nasty. I mean, it's normally like six, seven bucks. Oh, they have one of those things? What the world? Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. That's All right, y'all. So, this is Skyline Chili. Mike's the one who recommended this. <laughs> We're going to see, though, because I'm very curious on how they do look like pretty small hot dogs, but it comes with mustard, onions, and just literally, I can't even see the hot dog. <laughs>
All right, guys. So, man, I've kind of did a lot. I know I ain't talked to you in a minute, but I did in Vertigo, the Racer, Adventure Express. That's actually one of the best rides here, Adventure Express. I can't believe it. It's one of the best rides here. At least the best mine trade I've ridden. The theming on it was really, really good. I was surprised by how well the theming was on that ride. They did a really good job. Um, Eiffel Tower is actually open here, but I wanted to kind of talk about uh, the racer. That one's really smooth. Um, let me get out the way really quick. I don't want copyright. And Vertigo is pretty good. Um, that, believe it or not, for it to be an SLC, uh, it's actually one of the better ones. It was pretty smooth, pretty forceful, actually, uh, going through that loop. And I'm going to go ahead and head to back lot, then fly to fear. Then after that, I'm going to use a quick, uh, quick, a quick key ride, or it's like a single use fast lane. Uh, luckily enough, Mike gave me that. So I'm going to use that for Orion. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. go ahead and talk about this vip lounge so shout out to melody she didn't actually have to let me in i have the platinum pass but i'll be switching to prestige pass essentially it's for prestige pass holders they have a new vip lounge where you kind of just get to relax they give you free snacks really cool they give you free water and you get to charge up your phone and watch tv so yeah i've got one more coaster to ride before i hit 100 uh, i just rode back lot that one's solid i think ours is actually better at king's me and just gives you a little bit more kick so i'm gonna try to go ahead and go ride um flight of fear after that i'll make orion 100 just because kind of giga not a giga type of thing so we'll do that we'll do make orion my 100th and then i'm gonna take a break and charge up my phone right before i'm gonna try to get some re-rides i got one other coaster ride i think it's like the bat and that'll be it i'm done after that i'm getting out of this place I don't want to honestly be at this park no more. It's not a bad park, just not my cup of tea. I'd rather be at Cedar Point. So um, King's Man, I do personally think is a little bit better. Uh, having Intimidator 3 or 5 and Twisted Timber is nice, but I will say their selection of coasters is also pretty good. So yeah. Okay, that flight of fear credit's done. They took 20 minutes in fast lane. The, the operations were just dog crap. Now I gotta hurry up and try to ride Orion. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the bat. I may not even be able to get Banshee because of how bad these ops are right now. I would talk to y'all in a little bit. Janky, I guess. <laughs> I'm from Virginia, so it was like an eight and a half hour drive. Okay guys, so now I kind of have to rush to go ride Orion because Orion's back open. And yeah, the back was good. I actually enjoyed that one. Not a lot, but it was really good. It was smooth, actually had some floater. The layout was really cool. It was... 
I definitely think it was better than Iron Dragon for sure. But man, this thing has the biggest freaking queue I've ever seen for a coaster. It's just like all the way back in the cut for no reason. Look at it. But okay, I gotta go ride Orion and I will talk to y'all probably once I get to the hotel. I don't know, we'll see. We got it, we did it y'all. We freaking did it. I did it really. I got over 100 coasters. I'm at 102 now, thanks to Orion. I got Banshee as number, my 100th coaster. What ended up happening is basically Orion closed right when I walked up to it. It was supposed to be my 100th, and that sadly didn't happen today. So I ended up getting Banshee, which was actually a solid 100th coaster. I'll take that. I'm not mad at that at all. But I'm glad, I've joined, fi I'm glad I finally joined the 100 Coaster Club. It's finally about, it's about time, honestly. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, over five years. And um, I'm just glad that I finally got my third Giga. Uh, the last, or I'm sorry, this is my fourth one. The last one that I need is Leviathan. So I've gotten all the ones in the United States. Um, so now I need to make a trip to Canada's Wonderland whenever. One of these days, I definitely will get down there. Kings Island, man, what an interesting park. I think um, it's just, it's, I, I think I like Kings Dominion definitely still more. Twisted Timbers is just freaking phenomenal and honestly i love mr timbers it's still i think one of the best rides in the park i still think it honestly is the best ride in the park oh ryan was great i will have probably a full review on that in the future but i just the park is closed it's like eight something right now luckily security allowed me to at least get this content for you all um i'm just glad that i've got this credit and i'm also glad that i finally got to get to this park it's been i've always wanted to go to this park but i don't think i'll probably be back here if i come back here i'm gonna have to get fast lane operations just were not hitting flight of fear was an hour literally two hour wait um what else mystic timbers has had a really long operations and what else racer racer was pretty good racer was actually pretty fast but yeah overall it was a solid day i'm glad that i got to get the cedar point also three days of cedar point is definitely what you need at least for a person like me but uh, i hope to talk to you all soon and uh thank you all for watching this has been a great time now i gotta go to virginia and then after that i gotta go back to hersey park bye